Do you find it difficult to speak or share your thoughts and information with others? What exactly is your difficulty? Are you scared to talk to people? Do you mumble sometimes? You don't want to look odd or you're out of words? You have made the right choice by clicking on this video because your brother is here to help you. Everybody talking but they coming to the show. Pull up in a row, as you want to roll. Everybody talking but they coming to the show. Pulling up, being on serving. Bad bitch pushing on curving. Run it up. What's going on everyone? This is Sarfras. We all know what communication is. The means of sending and receiving information. Communication has three parts. Listening, understanding and responding. Nowadays, we people dwell into the responding part and completely ignore the first two. This is the mistake that we people do. Because we listen with the intent to reply, but not with the intent to understand. Even in my younger days, I was not that much of a good communicator. It all happens to us. We feel scared to talk to new people. We hesitate that uh, they would laugh at us. Or we are out of words and we mumble sometimes. It all happens. It's actually common to everyone. I have brought 5 ways by which any one of you can improve your communication skills and thus become an effective communicator. Alright, let's get started. Yo, yo. Develop listening skills. This is the first ever step in the process of improving your communication. Whatever steps you take to improve your communication without listening, you can't go anywhere. It's not just listening to lively people. You can also try listening to podcasts, various podcasts available on YouTube. Tim Ferriss is my favorite. And there are other things too. Alpha M, Beer Biceps, everything. I'll give the link down below. And my suggestion to you is that you can try watching cartoons. Because that is where the language is very simple and it helps you to understand the language better. Have courage to say what you think. It is important that you must build up your confidence levels in order to speak courageously in front of people. You must also believe that you can make good conversations like great people do on and off stage. People mostly are hesitant to speak because they are afraid that people would laugh at them and they would look odd. If people laugh at you, remember this point. They do it just for their comfort zones and not for you. They mentally assume that their conversation is better than yours. Don't give a damn about these things. Put away hesitation and go ahead. Practice how to speak. Developing a fluent and stylish communication starts with practicing it by yourself. Practicing in front of the mirror by seeing yourself is quite easy, right? So there are three tips I would like to say to you. Number one, stay in a room and imagine that you are having a conversation with a person. Visualize that person in front of you. You can practice and say whatever you want because that person is actually not in front of you. Number two, simplify your words. You can't use complex and intricate words while you actually converse with someone. You may have come across a lot of stylish words, but you cannot actually use them in conversation. After you reach a level of good conversation, and then if you want to add more style to your conversation, then you can add complex words like flabbergasted, extravagant, intricate, complicated, everything. Number three, slow down your speech. Resolving conflicts. Conflicts or disagreements happen when there are some sort of misunderstandings between you and others. As I said before, by way of empathy, you understand others better. Get to know your audience. When lawyers present a case before the court, they seem to speak extemporaneously. They do not memorize each and every word which has to be said before the judge. They load up only the points and speak with the flow, thus giving more flexibility to the person who is listening on the other side. This is a technique which lawyers use to engage themselves with the audience. Body language is also equally important when it comes to engaging with people. The things which are of paramount importance when it comes to engaging with people are eye contact and gestures. Remove distractions and discomforts. Do not allow external distractions like your mobile phone ringing or text notifications to distract you. It totally crushes the amount of concentration you have in that particular conversation and makes you as well as others distracted. It eventually kills communication. Those who have mastered the effective use of communication can change their whole experience of the world and the world's experience of them. Every form of thoughts and information rise up from communication. We live in a world which is fully filled up with information and that information cannot be transmitted from one place to another without communication. In our daily lives, we cannot imagine even one single minute without communication, whether it is written or oral or social media or anything. Overall, communication is power. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for new videos every week. And thank you all for your support. 
As for now, stay happy, stay motivated, and believe in yourself. Everybody talking, but they coming to the show. Pull up in a rose, as you on the road. Everybody talking, but they coming to the show. Pulling up, bringing on fervent. Bad bitch pushing on curving. Run it out like a nigga earning. Gotta check now, nigga. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.